Hey everyone, Cameron Leach here. I'm a percussion soloist and Black Swamp percussion concert artist, and I'm here to talk to you about the Black Swamp percussion rec plate. Now the rec plate is an innovative mounting system that Black Swamp has come up with to solve all of our percussion accessory instrument mounting woes. It is extremely versatile, extremely portable, and something that I think if you're looking for a solution for cowbells, wood blocks, small gongs, anything, uh, this is the thing that you should be checking out. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the basics, basically through an overview of the rec plate first. I'll show you some close-up shots as we move through it. And then I'm going to show you a couple of specific instances where I've found myself needing a more creative solution. And that's where the rec plate has come in and really saved the day for me. So before we get to that, let's talk more generally about the rec plate here. I have one that is unmounted. You can see I've got a little setup in front of me, which we'll get to in a second. But the unmounted version of the rec plate, it's just a small piece of metal, very thin. And you can see that it's got all of these things basically cut out of it, all these little ridges on it. And all of those are locations and, and places that you can mount instruments. The way that you can do that is through a couple of um, small accessories that Black Swamp provides. The first and most important is this mounting post. This fits all standard cowbells and wood blocks and things of that nature. And it just slips down into the rec plate. You can move it side to side. It tightens down onto it and you can mount your instruments very, very easily. They also provide some of these little plastic, uh, what look like zip ties, but they're essentially, you know, mounts for triangles or other instruments that you might want to hang off of the rec plate. You just loop it back into itself here and it hangs right off of any of those, you know, little hooks that you saw on the side of the rec plate. And finally, they also provide a couple of uh, Velcro strips here. You know, those are probably for some more <laughs> creative MacGyver uses, but uh, you can really find a solution for any of your problems with the post, the small little plastic zip tie type things, and the Velcro. And uh, as, as I've been talking here, you've been seeing some of those examples that I've used, you know, the rec plate for. But I want to talk now, uh, before we end this video, about a couple of specific instances that I've used the rec plate for some more, you know, creative things. Both of these are from different concertos that I've premiered over the last few years. The first example is from a concerto in 2019 by Dave Merrick. You'll see here in the video clip that one of the rec plates was used to mount two smaller gongs. It worked perfectly for these eight to 10 inch gongs to hang there. And then I also used the rec plate for what are basically like seed pods uh, strung up on I don't know, some string or something like that. I wrapped those around either end of a rec plate in front of the marimba so that I could essentially strike these seed pods while playing marimba. I had a high and a low seed pod, you know, strand on either side of those rec plates. So that was for that particular concerto. The seed pod thing is a little bit more unconventional. The gongs seem to be, you know, more of a basic use for the rec plate. But the most recent use that I found for the rec plate, I think is a pretty cool one. And that's what I'm gonna show you right here. You can see I've got four crotales on this rec plate in front of me and two bows. I'm gonna be bowing these crotales. I recently premiered a concerto in March of 2021 during the, uh, during the coronavirus pandemic. And the composer wanted me to bow four crotales in a smooth musical fashion, you know, connected line and he wanted the final crotale to be held up in the air for sort of a more dramatic moment. And I had to figure out how to do this, but what I did with the crotale mounts that Black Swamp sells um, for the rec plate, I mounted three of them regularly here. But the fourth crotale is hanging basically, you know, loose, it's separate, and there's a little gap on the side of the rec plate that the top of this just fits right down into and it will sit there. So what I did, and I'll show you in a second, is basically bow one, two, three. While I'm bowing the third crotale, this bow is being hung back up. And as I bow the third crotale, I pick this loose one up and I bow it smoothly off of the same exact motion from this crotale. So let me see if I can do it in context. If there's a video cut here, that's because I screwed it up. So here we go.
So you can see there, basically, that's how it worked. Um, it was a pretty cool way to make a dramatic moment in a concerto that otherwise wouldn't have really worked if I didn't have this option as a mounting system. So gotta love the rec plate. Really, I'm telling you, it is one of the <laughs> life-saving things that I take to every show, and it is just a, an ingenious piece of equipment. So if you're looking for a mounting solution, look no further than Black Swamp's rec plate.